Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we made our way to the Chantry um, to basically try and figure out where the what's going on with the slaves uh, that the Tremere are taking. You know, well, they're making they're taking people and they're making them ghouls. And we are is that water? I can't go back there anyway. It shall it does not let me. So we were just, uh, we're in the level two now. Oh, of course. No, you first. Guys, come on, guys. Okay, no, no, do not, do not follow him. should start using these scrolls. Ooh, a blood pearl. Look at that. Oh, it only gets 55. I guess that's okay. I guess. Yeah, what do we have? Walk the Abyss, Awaken, Walk the Abyss, Awaken, Heightened Senses, kind of useless to us. Walk the Abyss. This is Celerity, Fortitude, Awaken. Probably save that for like a boss or something. Empty. A footman shield. 15, 15, 15. This one's better. Maybe you can use the shields? She can. Uh, yeah. You know, it might be time to walk the abyss. Let's take a defensive stance just in case. Last thing I need is to start fucking fighting. Um, this way. My lady. My, 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 my sir. 
me lord. Good day to you, young sir. Sup, man. Alright, you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can... That. Uh... Is it worth having something bashing? Probably not. Nope. Bye. So long. Sayonara. Apidazine. Ivory bow, not identified. Why didn't we identify it? Whose fault is it for not identifying this? Let's see if we got anything good. Dagger. What do I do? 20 lethal. Probably want something down here. Exquisite stuff. Ooh, we got a fine bastard sword. Incendiary short boat. Very nice. Blessed means we can't use it. Gauntlets of strength. Gauntlets of stamina. You use a halberd, minimum 35. What is this? 45 lethal? Fifty-five lethal. Seventy-six speed. Seventy-six speed. Well, I mean, why not? And you, sir, you still have your fine-ass rapier. What is that, 111? Accuracy is 25. It's two-handed. It's two-handed. It's one hand. 40 and 20. Hmm. Get 10 lethal, but I drop 5 accuracy. You know, it sounds like a better trade off, but what's the point if you're not hitting? If, if you're not able to hit them, right? I'll keep it for now until I keep. Uh, until I max out my decks at least. Do I want scale milk? 2,000. No. No, I think I'm good. 45, 30, and 20. Although. Venom 35, I don't even think I can equip that, actually. Good day to you. Oh, I can. Just. I'll hold off for now. You can do that. You might as well identify that. 40 aggravated. Hmm. That might be worth keeping. Um... Yeah, might as well level a little bit since we're here. Um, so, one thing I realized last episode... Protean. I think I need to put a point in Eyes of the Beast in order to get the claws. There you go. I think Feral Claws is something worth getting. Um, yeah. Let's put a point in there.
dex, her dex is getting pretty respectable now. All right, let's head back. What was that? Is that a save? Yeah, it's a save. I don't get those save points when you can just save anywhere. That looks like a control panel or something over there. Oh, great. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Defend me. You know... I don't find monkeys scary. Like, these things are more annoying than anything else. I don't know if they're meant to be scary. They're not, not in the least. Alright, you guys stay there. I shall depart. Stand thy ground! Oh, great. I caught everyone. Where did she go? Thaumaturgy. Where are you guys? Where, where are we fighting it? Oh, regardless. Ooh, I got a scroll, guys. Anything in interesting about that scroll? This one. Charges. Blood magic. I mean, she can use it. Is it like you gain a spell, or is it just like... Oh, I see. Cool. Um, and what's this? Well, maybe you can write something on it as like a ability, like a discipline. Well, she can hold on to that. Oh, 
right. I do withdraw. I stand. I shall depart. Stand thy ground. Let's see if we can get Wilhelm to feed a little. I was hoping that wouldn't be a thing. Alright, everyone for the most part is nice and satiated. Let's keep going. Attend me. Let's loose thy wrath. Alright folks, not to worry, we're vampires, here to save you, from whatever horrific thing you might become. Oh no. We have found prisoners. Thou art free of thy bondage by the power of the Prometheans. Thanks upon thanks to thee for releasing us. Ye have saved us surely. Blessings upon ye, stranger. Uh, before you leave... <sighs> I can't even target them. What? You're fine. Psychos. I really gotta find a use of this holy water. Shipping manifest for the October slave shipment. To be shipped, seven mortal slaves and three canine prisoners. The Ventru Caravan Master Count Orsi shall ship the slaves to the House de Hexi in Vienna. <laughs> I just find it funny they have a manifest for, for slaves. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But, uh, I don't know. I just find it funny. All right. Let's go. Oh, shit. Let's not go. I'll be completely honest, this is the kind of gameplay is not what I was expecting. Like, kiting every single fucking enemy, you know what I mean? But it makes sense to kite. You'd be an idiot not to. Because 
Because you can get easily overwhelmed. Stand thy ground. Turn to me. Actually, you know what? That guy comes back, he's mine. If he comes back. Maybe he's not coming back. Please to identify. Frenzy reduction. Okay. But where does that go? Like there? You just hang around your neck? To focus. Well then, uh, no, not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Cloak of Shadows. I find it fascinating that a Bruja naturally gains the ability of Obfuscate. I mean, I'm sure it happens, but. It, I would think it's extremely uncommon. What did I pick up? Bloodstone, maybe? Yeah. You guys can carry a few of these. I feel like I'm completely turned around. 
Greek fire. To the abyss with thee. I think this was the area that I wanted to check before. Oh. Chantry number three. We should be coming on the boss very soon. Where are you? Why? You know, I'm not even gonna heal you. I mean, you healed yourself, but I'm not. I'm not gonna replenish your blood. I stand. I shall depart. Stand thy ground. The f whoa, 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 whoa! The fuck is that? Oh, it's a guy tied up. I thought he was facing the other way and he was some kind of like demonic thing dancing or something. Eric. Return to me. God, target him! Boy's an antidote. And a longbow. Alright, Eric. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, Jesus. Well, that's why we have all these scrolls of Awaken. No. manner of Cainite have they imprisoned here? He seems more animal than man. Thou hast saved Eric of Clan Gangrel. Mm. According to the ancient Cainite law, I owe thee a life boon. I shall accompany thee and protect thee until such time as I discharge my debt. Thou speaks with honor. Thy providential attack did interrupt the wicked sorcerer Ardan as I began a conjuration to twist me into a mindless gargoyle. At the sound of thy coming, the Tremere snake slithered into the chambers below. I am thine to command. After I have felt the Tremere's shriveled heart burst between my jaws. Thou mayst tear the warlock's heart from his chest only after I have pried truthful answers from his mouth. Now let us go. So he's a gangrel. Cool. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know. Wow, look at his eyes down there. 
Um, gangrels are basically... Um, they generally take on, like, more animal animalistic forms. Um, I, I guess the D&D... Um, whoa. The D&D... Comparison would be... A druid. Let's lose thy wrath. You know, this might actually work with four people. You know, assuming they all attack. Oh my god. I wish I could zoom out more, man. You know what? They got it. Chainmail. Hey, look at that. Uh, maybe you want to wear that? You seem like a Warhammer kind of guy, but I think an axe might be more your speed. Why don't you use a halberd for now? What's your stats? 65, yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely better. Um, since we have... Oh, I thought we had an antidote. Never mind. We have the healing salve. Greek fire. Oh, we do have an antidote. Is it poison? You're okay. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Gangrels, yes. Um, I don't have too much experience with gangrels, actually. Um, I've never really liked the whole uh, druid class, that kind of thing. Like, level four. Um, yeah, I've never really been big on the, on, like, the druidic classes, um, so, Gangrel, I know a bit about them, like, as I said, they're, they're more animalistic, um, they, they tend to be a little bit more feral, a little bit more, um, in tune with the beast, if that makes sense, if, again, if I'm remembering correctly, um, and when I say the beast, I mean like the actual like the thirst, the the, the predatory instinct that all vampires have inside of them. Um, that is actually led by the thirst because everything is about blood. Everything is about um, you know getting as much blood as possible because that's what these guys live for, you know. But yeah, um, I, I've generally been more of like 
Ventru, Toriador, even Tremere. In, in the modern world, I, I've actually... Well, sorry, not modern world. The V20, I guess. Um, I, I've actually kind of liked the Tremere, although they're kind of seen as more... I don't want to say evil, but they're definitely not anywhere near the good, good guys. I mean, no vampires are really good guys, but you, you catch my drift. Anyways, that'll pretty much do it for now. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.